Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Do you hate math? Well, join the club. Let's go over the dosage calc basics and make it super simple. And you don't have to be a math magician to do them. See what I did there? Math magician? Okay, first up, what is dosage calc? Well, it's simply a way to calculate the right dosage of medication to give to a client. It's used to determine the right amount of medication based on the client's needs. So why is it so important? And why do nursing schools make you take an exam each semester for dosage calculations? Well, the main goal is to keep clients safe. Imagine if you miscalculate a client's weight or conversion of micrograms to milligrams and end up overdosing a client. Or maybe you miss one number and overdose a little baby in the pediatric unit by giving an adult dose rather than a pediatric dose. Trust me, it happens a lot in the clinical settings. Medication errors are one of the leading causes of harm and even client death in the clinical setting. Every year, thousands of clients die from a simple medication error. So remember, safety is number one, and this is why nursing schools are required to have dosage calc exams each semester. This is done to ensure patient safety. Now, there are four types of medication math or dosage calculations that you need to know for nursing school exams. And they are dosage calc or formula method, the pediatric dosage calc, which is primarily weight-based, IV drip factors or drop factors, and then metric conversions. Now, some key terms to know is desired dose. So that's the dose we want to administer to a patient. The next key term is total drug amount. This is the total amount of the drug within its container. Next is total drug volume. This is the amount of fluid within the drug's container. And the last one is administered volume, the amount of fluid in mLs we will administer to a patient here. So the most typical concentration of a medication we are going to see in the hospital setting is a concentration of milligrams per mL, or total drug versus total volume here. So use drug calculations when calculating the quantity of medications needed for a patient and the strength of medication is already known. Struggling to stay afloat during nursing school? Let me help you achieve our 96% pass rate by heading over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and signing up for free.